Hey guys, welcome to Tech Now. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect any Xbox you may have to any monitor you have. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first step is making sure that your monitor turns on. This is a common place of failure where people have issues in the comments. Just make sure it's plugged in. You see the logo, you see it, try to find the inputs. This is the first thing you want to do before we move on. Okay, after making sure that your monitor works, we're going to make sure we know which inputs are on the back. So just flip it over and look at the back side and take note of what's on there. So right here I have an HDMI and I have a VGA input. If you don't know what these inputs look like, I'll put it on screen now. I will also put a website in the description so you can learn more about these inputs and whether they have audio or not. But moving on. I say this because all Xboxes have an HDMI out input, and this means that no matter what, we're going to have one side of our cable uh, designated as HDMI because our Xbox is always going to be HDMI no matter the model, so one side will always be HDMI. Luckily for me, my monitor has HDMI too, so this means that I can just use a normal HDMI to HDMI cable to connect both of them. But what if you don't have HDMI on your monitor? Well, let's look at something like VGA, which is also on my monitor. It's a little blue input. Well, in this case, I would need an adapter or a separate cable that converts it from HDMI to VGA. But we're not done yet, because on some older video connections like VGA and DVI, it does not transfer audio by itself, so you're gonna need an adapter that comes with an aux cable. So unless you're plugging in a headset directly to your Xbox controller, then you're gonna need one of these adapters. And simply put, this will mean that you're transferring your Xbox audio directly to speakers through an aux cable. Now that we have the right cables, we can plug in the HDMI side to the back of the Xbox. Make sure it's in the HDMI out to TV and not the HDMI in. Now on the back side of the monitor, we can plug in the other side, which for me is HDMI, but it might be different for you. Now if we power it on, it just boots up like it's connected to a TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a lot of time and effort to put together. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also comment what you guys want to see next. If you're also interested, I have other videos like how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC or anything else related to Xbox. Um, you can find it on my channel. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next Techno video.